In this video, I'm going to discuss how to use the RSS feed feature in Easy Mobile Site Generator. It's very simple to use. Um, you just place it wherever you want on your page by putting in the uh, short code that, that we get for the RSS feed. And all you have to do to actually create the feed itself is to get the, the feed URL from your RSS feed. Here, I've got one here. I've got from a, a site that gives me news about natural remedies and things like that. So I put the feed URL in there, how many entries I want, and then the style that I want. I can either have a title, title and description, or title and snippet. Let's leave it at title and snippet. Um, and once you, once you put your settings in like this, all you need to do is copy this uh, short code. So I, I've got it on this particular page here, so I, can, I take the this page one, so 95, and if you look, that's what I placed in my page here. When you've done that, just click update, and it's done. And if we look down at the preview, we see it down here. Here's my feed down here. These are the entries of the feed. Now this is styled in the same style as all the other uh, entries that we have, like block quote and menus and everything with rounded corners and following what, whatever colors you've set in whatever theme you're using. Now here I've got the title and a short uh, snippet description. If I wanted just to have just the titles, let me go back to my RSS feed here. Let's just change that to be title only and go and do an update and look at it again in our previewer. So let's go down to the preview and you see now we've got only the titles in there. Now one thing to be careful of is when you're using RSS feeds you must see what is going to be at the other end of the RSS feed because when someone clicks on one of these feed entries it's going to take them to the source of the feed the article that, that generated in the feed so if it's going to a, a non-mobile optimized website then you're going to be sending a, a mobile user to a non-optimized site so just take a little bit of care with whatever feed you're using um, also you can find that sometimes the feed layout doesn't really suit um, a, a mobile site um, if they've got images included and uh, placed it in, in the thing. This particular one, I, I chose this one to actually show you that sort of thing. Let me just go and put that in and have the, the description part as well. And you'll see that this one doesn't lay out particularly well because of the size of the images and the way that the, the feed itself is formatted. So you have to be a little bit careful with what, you, what you're taking. You see here where they format it inside there, it's forcing the image that side and it's not flowing the text around the image. So it, it's easy to use, just put in your RSS feed in here, in the RSS feed URL, put the entries, here I had seven Let's say I only wanted maybe three, and choose whatever style you want, title, title and description, title and snippet, and you place that in, in the, the short code, you place in the post. So what I'm going to do it, let me just finish this off by showing that by changing the maximum feed entries to three and doing an update, instead of having the seven that I had previously, then I should get just three entries. So. Let's go down and have one more look. And yes, we've only got three entries now. So you can control how many entries you have on a page. Uh, you can control the layout of it, the colors, and everything. But as I mentioned earlier, be careful when using RSS feeds in case you're sending the user to a non-mobile optimized site if they click on any of the feed entries.